Hey everybody, it's Ryan again. And this time I'm going to show you how to set up your APRS here in your FT5. So you'll start out on your main screen. You'll go hold the function menu. APRS. Start up here at the top. You go APRS AF dual. You want that on. Back out. Destination. Filter. Turn down the volume. This is the APRS filter. This you can turn on and off what you want to receive. So if you don't want to receive the weather, just go down here, select it, turn it off. Get back. So the next one is APRS modem. I got mine set at 1200 baud. Go back. APRS message flash. What the message flash does is say you receive a message from somebody. How long do you want it to display on the screen before it disappears? So all these are set at four seconds from the factory. So you can turn it up to however you want. Or you can turn it off completely. I'm just going to leave it at the four seconds for now. So we'll back out of that. APRS message group. You can set these up. However you want. APRS message text. You put your text in here and it will save them. APRS mute. So this is if you want to get rid of the beeping noise whenever you receive a packet. You can turn that on and that'll mute the noise. APRS pop up. You can again change these how you want. APRS ringer. Turn them on and off. APRS units. You can change your speed, position, distance, altitude, temperature. APRS text delay. I'm just going to leave it 300 millisecond. APRS beacon info. So, pretty sure this top one here, you can turn it on. And it'll kind of offset your location so it won't show your true location if you don't want people to know exactly where you're at. Beacon interval, you can change that from 30 seconds, minute, 2, 3, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 60, back to 30. Just gonna leave it on 30 for demonstration purposes. Your beacon status text. Turn it on and off. You go down here to text. Push F menu. I just got high. So go ahead and turn that on. So that way, whenever you're you beacon, you can have a message for somebody to see. Beacon text, you got auto or manual. Comport setting. Your digipath, you got preset digipaths. GPS setup. Your GPS power, you turn your GPS on or off. GPS time set. Just leave mine on auto. 
GPS units. You can change these. Just gonna leave them alone. Call sign, be sure to put in your call sign. And then for a handheld, it's dash seven. For a mobile, it's a dash nine. My position. So you can use GPS. Uh, manually put your position if you're in a basement or something where you can't get a very good GPS signal. And then you can preset different locations. My symbol, I just got it as a person. Position comment, you can change these how you wish. Smart beaconing, turn it on and off. I'm just going to leave it off. Time zone. So there you have it. I to set up your APRS. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my 400. I'm going to have this beacon to the 400. Show you that it works. So there you see it popped up. So again, the FT5 is very easy to set up on the APRS. So thanks for watching. Be sure to watch out for the next video in the series, 73.